Hurry up, Lathan. They could find us at any moment. Something's wrong. Wrong? Why doesn't that surprise me? Now, don't get mad, but there's a perfectly good explanation why Lathan and I busted out of our tail. The intentions of the Sijiks are good, but we're running out of time. From what we saw at the gatehouse, Nocturnal has already taken control of the Crystal Tower. Drastic action is called for. Not you, too. I got enough doubt and dirty looks back in Arteum. Look, Mephala was betrayed by Nocturnal. It stands to reason she might want to help us. And we could certainly use the power since I still can't make contact with Meridia. I knew I could count on you. As for Lathan, you should talk to him. We can make him pay for his crimes later, right now. If you want to return me to Arteum, I won't resist you. But first, I need to find out if the rest of Mythala's followers are safe. Let me learn their fate, and then I'll sub- I am, but I'm surprised that you'd go along with that. If we can get inside and reach Mythala's shrine... Not exactly, but it's obvious to me that you believe that's what's happened. I need to see for myself. In any event, there's no harm in approaching Mythala's shrine. I'm just a little concerned that it took me so long to open this. It should have been a simple matter to identify myself and unlock the door. But the spells in place resisted me. It's as if I've... I spent years on that damnable island. Do you think the Sijik's magic could long hold someone who knows the intricacies of the place? With the right master's death, the order is in chaos. I'm just guessing, mind you. But I imagine someone with the abilities of a Daedric Prince, who possesses the heart of transparent law, could walk into the Crystal Tower as e- My Prince deals in secrets and hidden lore. If anyone can activate the keys to the Crystal Tower, she can. That was our original plan, before you intervened. How did this happen? My people should have been safe within these walls. Nocturnal's been eliminating the sex of the other princes. Are you surprised she'd turn on her former allies? I recruited most of these men and women. I was responsible for them. Scout ahead and find the shrine. I'll stay with Lathan until he's ready to move on. My mistress will not be denied. Butcher! How dare you pretend to care about the men and women you slaughtered? Every action I perform is in the service of Nocturnal's grand plan. Lathan, she has my Dawnbreaker. Ask her if she'll kindly return it. I never trusted Nocturnal's Earl, a dark elf in the court of Bedlam. It was unprecedented. Nocturnal's champion is reckless and quick to anger. We can take advantage of that. Perhaps get her to slip up and reveal what's... Nocturnal's magic is at work here. See how the Yagra have mutated into creatures of shadow? We need to follow Nocturnal's Earl. Harry her. Make her so mad she tells us everything. Hopefully, one of us will... Champion of Nocturnal! What magic is this? I've never seen anything like it! This was always the plan. 
Nocturnal's plan. So Nocturnal did betray my mistress. Your mistress is weak. Come with me, and I'll show you what true power looks like. Lathan, no! Come on! We can't let them get away! Destroys everything. What good is power if there's nothing left to rule? This is what the court wanted all along. An end to the old ways. A new beginning. I won't be party to the death of innocence. I won't! Let him go! Be silent, knight, or I'll let you taste the blade you once carried. I wish to speak to your friend now. Look how the pearls shimmer with dark energy. Isn't it beautiful? My mistress offers a small mercy. Allow her to finish- The sea slowed trinkets. It was an easy matter for my mistress to alter the magic. To use their ability to siphon life energy and funnel it into the crystal tower. In the end, Nern's destruction isn't a goal. It's just a means to an end. The crystal tower grows more powerful with every iota of energy produced by Nern's death. And with that power, Nocturnal will remake all reality into a perfect darkness. Mephala and Clavicus Vile are fledglings compared to my mistress. Nocturnal existed before this reality was even imagined, and she will... Good luck with that. Now stay out of the way or death will be the least of your concerns. Nocturnal must pay for betraying my mistress. But the magic of the Abyssal Pearls appears to do more than just siphon our life. While a consecrated shrine offers the best conduit to a Daedric Prince, there are other means. She's gone. I no longer sense her presence here. The Abyssal Pearls, however. The court helped seed them throughout South. Darian, go the other way and meet us in the back chambers. We want to make sure Nocturnal's Earl didn't leave us any surprises. I'll go. But if this is just a ploy so you can betray us, you'll have to deal with me. Destroy that creature, and then I can contact my prince. There you are! This place is... Meridia's light! What is that thing?
outside and will make contact with my prince. Mathala, appear before your faithful servant. I answer my Earl's summons only to find him with these unworthies. Do you betray me too, Lathan? Never, my prince. We share a common enemy now. Please, talk to them and hear what they have to say. So, the mortal who opposed me wants to speak. If what you say doesn't interest me, I will order... And what did the cowardly Prince of Bargains offer you? Was it something so intriguing that you would risk my wrath as well? You would challenge Nocturnal and the Crystal Tower? Since gaining the Heart of Transparent Law, the Tower serves as an extension of her own realm. It amuses me that you want to thwart her plan. How desperate you must be to offer the very relics I once sought. I will think upon your request. Before you enter Vile's realm, have my Earl contact me again. At that time, I will either help you, or I won't. As is my prerogative. That's it? A maybe? I'll return to Arteum with Darien and tell them what we learned. Meet us there. <laughs>